All right, 13 minutes in. All right. Hey guys, Jabali here. I am back with part two of my review on the Taito Egret 2 Mini Arcade Cab. On this, I am going to be basically doing a live stream through my twitch.tv slash CEO gaming channel uh, and be chatting with everybody in here as well. But I want to run through all the software that does come with the mini cabinet. It comes with 40 games. And if you bought the bundle that came with the additional controller and the track wheel and everything, then you got a 10 additional games on top of it that specifically use this big controller right here, which is not currently plugged in. I'll run through these games last, but uh, I kind of want to play all these games, show you a quick idea of how they all run. Uh, I'm currently hooked up just through basic HDMI out. And what's cool is it's on demo mode right now, which I'll switch over to for you. Uh, in demo mode, it actually, you can have sidebars on it as well. Um, and obviously you can't rotate the screen. It does actually let you, so we'll go through all the settings and stuff. But as of right now, this is basically the UI. UI is a bit basic. Um, so it's not as clean as some of the other ones, but it does get the job done. It basically tells you what kind of game it is, how many players it's for. Uh, now you can play on the arcade cab, or I'm going to be using this uh, basically mini fight stick that's actually kind of hefty. And what's cool is I did not realize this. I had seen a review that said it's an Octogate, but what it is is if you look, you know, right now it's basically your standard eight-way. On the back, I've never seen a stick with this option. You can twist this. And now you no longer have diagonals, so it forces you to do up, down, left, right for certain games. So say a game like a Rampage or, you know, going straight up and down, uh, where you're not really using any fireball motions or, you know, diagonals. Pretty cool, but that is awesome that a fight stick can do that. I've never seen that before in my life. So you literally twist and then boom, just does that. So I'm not a fan of opening these up because if I screw it up, then I don't have a controller to play with, so... But a super cool little addition to this. Now all these you can buy separately, but the entire bundle, as you saw in my review, I paid about, I would say, $370 American, and then plus a lot expensive for shipping from Japan. We can go to PlayAsia, Amazon.co.jp. Um, but so far I've been using this, kind of played through a bunch of the games. Um, if you can see here, you can actually store them, but I'll run through the settings. Uh, now the buttons don't have labels on them, but the bottom three are ABC, top is DEF. So if you use DEF in games, those are the turbo button versions of the three buttons on the bottom. Most of these games are either just two or three buttons. So but let's go back to kind of show you all the options. You've got, you know, the console settings, very simple and to the point. HDMI wide, which actually turns off the wallpaper and just does a black letterbox on the sides. Um, I don't like that. I think the HDMI wallpaper is the way to go. But if you do the, that way, you can actually turn your screen in case you're playing it on an HDMI monitor that you're doing like a BenQ flip to the side. So that's pretty cool. Now, hold on. I got to fix this myself. Let's go back to off. There we go. So we're back. But um, yeah, console settings again. And you got filter. It's pretty much to add your scan lines. Three different background music. So I like the B one the most. This is A. B. Here's A. And what's cool is this package actually came with a four disc soundtrack to all these games. So uh, pretty cool addition. This package, again, in my review, uh, it'll be linked on here. It was uh, pretty impressive. It actually came with a lot. It came with all the different marquees for the games. This is the B you were hearing. This is C, which is more of kind of like an epic orchestra. I feel like I'm on a Disney ride. We'll go with that. Demo settings. So as you can see, it'll run them in letterbox and it'll just... It doesn't matter what game you're landed on. It'll just rotate through all the games. So three minutes is a good time, I think. Leave this in the background. Language settings, obviously. You got your English simplified, traditional Chinese, and then Japanese. Uh, but for the sake of playing this, obviously English. You know, legal notices always. Staff credits are everyone that put this together. And then uh, nothing to re not much to reset. But uh, one thing, there is no physical volume button. You do have to do it through the console settings. So... Uh, but I will do this. I will sort them. You know what? We're going to go through year. Uh, so you can sort through year, name, or your favorites. Uh, to add a fairy, just basically press what I call a triangle button. Uh, but let's go back. Uh, I know. Dude, such a shame. I actually made a tweet about it. So... <laughs> oh, another key request has been accepted. I got Stranger of Paradise for, um, I'll edit this out, the Final Fantasy Origin game. Oh, shit. Looks like I can play that a few days early. Oh, well, I know what I'm streaming if there's no embargo. Let's see. Approved. 
free games. And I got WWE 2K today as well. So, uh, dear influencer, please do not include the song My Way in any content. If your coverage of any scenes may not be shown in stream, VOD content must be spoiler tagged. Very cool. So, yeah, I will definitely do this. William Hurt. That name sounds very familiar. Also, 18 minutes in to cut this out. Oh, no way. Him? What a huge name. Shit. Yeah, we've been off to a rough start this year. Crap. All right, well, let's get through this, and then maybe I can stream some of that uh, Origins game. I got to read these details and uh, how not to stream everything, but... So back to the review of the Taito Arcade selection. So it basically spans from uh, Space Invaders. So I'm just going to spend a couple minutes in each game. We'll go with Space Invaders. But basically you can you have your save slots here. Tells you what buttons. So it's actually suggesting, as you see right there, the way move. So that's pretty cool. So you can probably use it either way. But we'll boot it up right here. And then what's cool about this controller, you've got... This is basically your options here. Your coins, on the blue coin. And then this is for your start. So put some credits in. Because these are also basically arcade uh, emulated games. Wow, it's not even... Wow, it actually forces you? Oh, I didn't even hit start yet. No, maybe I did. All right, well, that's not a good start, Space Invaders. I can't move yet, so let's see. Let's reset that. Upgrade lost. I think I know exactly why I'm not plugged into the first player. So it does have two ports, but they're actually dedicated to each one. There we go. So, Taito was the originator of Space Invaders. So, obviously, uh, I believe this came out a little bit after Galaga did or before. But, obviously, Space Invaders here. Plays exactly as you remember. I don't know why I don't have the. Let's go back. Console settings, HDMI wallpaper. So, take off the wide wallpaper back on. Back to Space Invaders, back in. There we go. So I actually think it's cool that they went out of a way to add a basically some uh, overlays off to the sides, so it makes that easier to enjoy. So yeah, right there. So that's Space Invaders, obviously a classic. Everyone kind of switched over to Galaga as soon as that came out, so I don't think Space Invaders was as popular, but you've seen the little aliens on a lot of t-shirts and branding. Next up, we got Lunar, which is a shooter, one of the original shooters, and then it gives you a little backstory to each game. So, And you can do specific uh, number of player. Okay. Number of players, so probably how many lives you have. So each game has its own settings as well. I've seen some with difficulties and stuff like that. So put some coins in, kind of run through this game real quick. And I already died. All right, so you're coming up from the top <laughs> and going down. Oh, I guess you're... Oh, I remember this game. You're, yeah, you're trying to land. And you get points for landing. Okay, so you can only go up and down. All right, can't slow down. I got to go at this pace. So you have to avoid, and I guess I'm just trying to get back into the ship. Okay, so you're basically abducting people and then going back to your ship, so. Not a bad concept, actually, for a 1979 game. Let's land again. Oh, I'm going all the way to 150. Uh, 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 uh. I didn't hit any. Oh, those little plus signs are damages, too? All right, that's not good. Look at that. Oh, so you can go sh Ah, shit. All right, this game's actually not bad. This is kind of like a Donkey Kong with spaceships. Except you go backwards, so... Let's back out. 
And it's cool, you know, they run everything through. And then next up, we got Steelworker. Okay, this looks more like a Donkey Kong game right here. So the uh, four buttons, okay, so same buttons on top and bottom. Become the chief engineer in this arcade puzzle game. Select and connect girders to, uh, to guide workers from the left of the screen to the right without dropping any. So that's cool right there. Let's see. So I'm not actually able to... Huh. I don't know if I'm actually connecting or doing anything, so... Oh, I wasn't able to do... Oh, okay. So this is the original Fortnite? <laughs> Very cool. Huh. Yeah, this is the original Fortnite. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get past a level. This is fast. So you have until the end to get somewhere. Huh. I'm understanding the game, but it is so fast-paced. I can only imagine the frustrations of somebody playing this for the first time in the arcade back in the day. But guys, this is how arcade games were made. So you basically have to select something before it's too late. And then you gotta wait, wow. This is actually a really hard game. Not my favorite. Now, in comparison to the, basically the uh, Sega Astro City, a lot better games, a lot more 90s based game. So I gotta wait until those come down? This is a tough game. Not even Fortnite was this hard. Huh. Well, oh, next game, that's a toughie. They should have some demos of this. Back to top menu. <laughs> so that was Steelworker, Lupin the Third. Obviously, <laughs> not the anime, but this is uh, pretty close to it. So, from Monkey Punch, go through this. So, this tells me to four move again. Again, super cool with this little option on the back. I've never seen a stick do something like that. So, maybe they did in the Japanese ones. So, but this is a 1980 game. Let's see. I'm landing. This looks similar to that Space Invaders reverse game. I'm guessing, yeah, you're going, getting the money, getting away from the doggy. This is how people go. We are so lucky with our selection of games now. This is almost like a Pac-Man. Oh, shit! And that is Lupin the Third. <laughs> so weird, this teleportation. So is he randomly just teleporting somewhere else? Magic. Okay, so there's four buttons and magic. Oh, I see. M energy is probably the magic I'm using. And their 8-bit attempt at the uh, soundtrack. Huh. 
Yay! Sounds like a doorbell at a gas station. Go faster than a dog! Go down! Oh, thank God. Alright, you know, we're gonna see if we can beat this level. I guess you don't get any more energy. That stinks. You must be Lupin. Oh, yes, we, we realize that. Ha! It has a death animation. Up, oh, game over. All right, next game. Loop in a third, yep. Quicks, kicks. Let's see, it's a puzzle game. All right, high speed, low, so two buttons. Oh God. Marker. Am I trying to get these waves to kill off the marker? All right. So the it's one of the many Astro games. This is a 1981 game called Quicks. Let's see. All right, next game. So the idea of this stream is to show you all the games that if you purchase this, you will get. Um, not the best games, no. The Sega Arcade is already uh, impressing me. So we got Pirate Pete. Already looks like a pitfall game. So you're, I think you were supposed to get those lines to cross over and hit the other ones. So Pirate Pete. This is our history, guys. Pirate Pete's dead. Wow, you gotta actually... Let's go, Pirate Pete. <sighs> Let's try that again. We can get past a level. Captain Jack is the worst pirate ever. It looks like they always swing at the same. Oh, that was luck. So you can't climb it or anything. You are stuck. be a great mystery game. Oh, ho, ho! yes. Oh, you can swim. Oh, well, you can't kill a shark. This reminds me of the, if you guys don't remember, the Jaws NES game is actually a classic. One of my favorite games growing up. Am I supposed to kill these things or just swim through? What a long bow, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's that game. Another uh, classic. We're going to start getting into the 80s, 1982. So action, this reminds me of Tubin, which if you remember Tubin. 
That game actually wasn't bad until the swimming part, so there's that. This review will be a lot faster than I expected. Tubin is a classic. So bonuses are just literally the points. So you only go forward when you're going straight, and now I gotta get rid of an... Oh my god, alligator's coming. Not bad, Alex, not bad. Oh. This is bit It's so funny when you play these games from different companies, it's like this is a clone of a game I've played, but it was a better ver uh, the, the game it cloned or was before was a way better game. Shit's easy. Oh shit, an arrow. Fuck. Alright, well that's that game. Next! Adventure Canoe. Alright, elevator actions next. Okay. See, this reminds me of another game I've played on a different uh, system. My god, work is just nuts today! JT, what's up? All right, elevator action this is the next game. And again, I'm going to pretty much edit this all out together. Game input froze. Can you not see it moving? Oh, shit, you can die. Oh. I just trying to get as low as I can. Oh shit. Did that just kill me? Yeah, I know it's because I froze. Oh, I'm going. Uh, am I trying to just kill everybody? No, it's because I froze. I didn't do anything, so. Why can't I duck right now? I was ducking before. Why can't we? So what am I supposed to do? I guess take the stairs next? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Let's try it one more time.
Good call. Yep. I'm guessing trying to get down as low as I can. Ah, uh, where's shield? Nice, looks like I can stream the Square Enix game starting tonight if I wanted. Oh, that's elevator action. Next game. <laughs> Chack and pop? Cack and pock? Pop? Bomb on left, bomb. Oh, so this looks, uh, the FF, uh, I got the full version. Thank you, Square Enix. So this looks like Pac-Man and Bomberman had a baby. Yeah, Pac-Man, Bomberman had a baby. understanding this game these games are you can tell these games are not intuitive like the originals that we all grew up with oh shit I get so you gotta get the heart and then you gotta yeah it's basically Pac-Man and Bomberman had a baby. But worse. You get unlimited bombs, so that's good. Exactly yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> This is what made all the Japanese players better players than us and everything else. See, how do I get up? Oh, there's that game. Next. <laughs> Next up, Outer Zone. Maneuver the Explorer diagonally to destroy all the outpoints during ground-based missions and take off to battle the demons, aiming for their three weak points. You're right, these are these were all Japanese arcade games. Like, who the hell would play these in America? Okay, graphics are starting to kick up. Oh, cool. All right, so his ass is the one that's doing the shooting. It's not letting me go down. That's where we're supposed to get these three towers. There we go. All right, this might be something. 
No, nope, never mind. Uh, must be the green points. All right, next game. These games are really hard. They're not, I wouldn't even say they're fun, but they are challenging. These are like the Dark Souls of arcade games. This looks like Ice Climbers and the original Super Mario Brothers had a baby. With the worst animations I've ever seen. All right. The Fairyland story. Oh, that's cute. That might be the best animation I've seen yet. It's like Quidditch had a baby. Okay, you gotta keep shooting the cakes. All right. Oh, hey, Fausty, thank you. Yeah, I'll be getting back to GT7. I'm doing, this is a part two review of an arcade, mini arcade cap from Japan I just received. All right, so this game is probably the easiest one we played yet. Just kill all the little pigs. Oh, we got wizards now. Wizards that... Hmm. All right, next game. That was fairy tale story. Fairy, fairy land story. All right, the Legend of Kagi. Oh, this looks like a shinobi. Yeah, exactly. Next up, we have whatever this game's about to be. All right, so we got a female ninja. Uh, oh my God, what a jump, what the hell? And she climbs the trees. All right, this game's also whack. But also kind of cool movement. Not gonna lie. Oh. Biddy, I see none of these games I remember because I, where I grew up in the Middle East and here everything was SNK, Neo Geos, and then obviously all the fighting games I would play, all the shooters, the Time Crises of the World, Revolution X. None of the arcades I play in America. These are obviously Japanese arcade games were available to play, so I never got to see any of these games. I'm guessing I'm just trying to kill all the ninjas. Have you ever seen someone climb a tree that fast? Yeah, pretty much. Well, you can tell kind of the, the progression of these games as they were made. So that was the Legend of, Legend of Kagi, Cage Kagi. Haley's Con, so what Taito is known for is a lot of the shmups. What's cool is this little mini cab. You can rotate the screen just like the original arcade, so, but obviously playing with HDMI out does not do that. But let's go through the first level of any of the shoot 'em ups. These I should have a much easier time getting through. Definitely a, a Galaga-like game. Ooh, but what the hell? Hyperspace. But it's so funny when we see the games like the Turbo Graphics 16, uh, uh, you know, console with all the games on. Every game you play is literally like an NES ripoff of a different kind. Oh shit, that's a gun. This, I might say, is a lot more fun than Galaga, to be honest, on first play. Oh shit, what's going- Like, this is the game that got away, nobody knew about this game. 
So when I use that bomb, it looks like I'm freaking taking it. Yeah, JT, uh, I, I, I tweeted out a picture yesterday of it. It's the Mini Taito Arcade Egret 2 Mini Cab. And it comes with 40 built-in games and uh, 10 additional ones that you have to use the trackpad controller on that I'll get to. But I'm just doing a part two software review, so I'm gonna edit this all out, running through all the games. But cool, this game ain't bad. I would play this over and over again in arcade uh, compared to Galaga. Just everyone knows Galaga because Namco. So, emergency escape. So I guess you use that bomb that you gather, the little green ship. Bubble Bobble, the original. So we all remember this, bubble jump. Let's go through this real quick. Before there was Puzzle Bobble and like Bust a Move and all those, there was this game. Everyone remembers this song. Can I not pop the bubbles? Very cool. Alright, so basically bubble up everybody and then take out the bubbles. Oh, that's a death right there. You gotta be close to get this guy. They're running away. What, since one of the bad guys run away? See, now you can see the games are getting a lot easier because they're probably like, all right, nobody's playing these games are too hard. Let's start simplifying. So yeah, that's Puzzle Bobble, so classic, everyone remembers. Kiki Kai Kai. Shooter one player, all right. I've actually seen this game before somewhere. Ophodos, that's a move. I guess they didn't translate that. All right, we're getting into the later 80s now. That looks like Earthbound graphics. All right, you gotta be aimed dead on for that. Thank God these games are on free play, I'll tell you that much. Oh, and that, that. I can do better than that. Let's try that again. Uh, what are those gates called again? Japan Epcon has one, but then it's all over the, uh... God, I forgot the name of the really good game that came out on PlayStation. Yeah, 
These are the four f Oh my god, what the fudge? Oh look, I didn't have to start all the way at the bottom. Get out of here. Tory Gates, thank you. Wave that shit down. Oh, what the fudge? Oh, you can't kill that. That's just a trap. And now they spit out projectiles. Man, no wonder Taito didn't last. All right, well, that's that game. Kiki Kai Kai. Scramble formation, another shoot em up. Oh, this has eight-way movements, so that's cool. Again, just doing a little second dairy review, running through all the games for my YouTube review of this cabinet. I actually did get my first Android phone, I'm not switching, but I bought the Red Magic 7, that came in, I'm gonna unbox that this week. Uh, mostly for pocket emulation, but it's it's the new, like, Gen 8, or like, uh, Snapdragon 800 or something, it's like the latest technology. And the shit's running PS2 games flawlessly. And you can buy it unlocked, you don't need a phone carrier, and it's basically, it's got 18 gigs of RAM in the thing. So, I got suckered by YouTube reviews. This basically reminds me of Capcom's 1942. Yeah, look up Red Magic 7. It even has a mini fan, and it's got shoulder buttons. So, yeah, I needed a secondary phone. You know, a, uh, a burner account, you know. <laughs> this game's not bad, actually. It moves well. So what Taito did do right is definitely early on uh, shoot 'em ups Oh, shit. Ooh, above the clouds. I like that, actually. You gotta remember, these are all 1980s games, so you shouldn't expect much. So still before Street Fighter 2 was even a thing, which was 1991. Alright, well, that's a good shoot 'em up. I would actually play through that. I bought the Red Magic 7. Google it. Or look up a YouTube review. So Rostin Saga, this was kind of like an altered beast. This is a classic we all remember. Kind of run through this a bit. It's got the eight-way controls. And the phone uh, with 256 gigs of memory was like $700. Early on He-Man. And some of these games are like taking up more space on screen, which is really cool. Oh. Starting to get sound effects as these games get older. First teabagging. Oh, nice downward spike. That reminds me of Zelda. Yeah, and I'm dead. Oh, nice. He's even got an upward spike. This adds a little bit more rain. Oh, Jesus. This reminds me of like a ghouls and goblins. I knew that stuff would kill, but like not kill on instant touch. Yeah, no, that screen, that that phone. I've always wanted like dabble in Android again, and that thing is is perfect. Until the next phone comes out, and then it's out. It's, it... 
Oh, nice. As you jump up, the axe can still hit. Luckily, everything's just a one-hit kill. Oh shit, how do I... Oh, can't do that anymore. Oh, uh, now these are getting into sonic size levels. And a rock just fell on me, okay. That's Rastin. I think I can go one more. I actually am a very good swimmer. I was a lifeguard at Wet n Wild back in the early days. Thank you very much. I don't need you, Axe. Oh, this is a speedrun game right here. Never mind. This game's not bad. You can tell, like, uh, just arcade games in general started to get better as the years progressed. Yeah, that's right, you come to me now. That guy just disappeared, all right. I wish you could like itch a inch along like Gaia would. Please tell me I can get the flaming sword. Nice, flaming sword. I was really excited about that sword. Oh my god, was that a dragon? That was a lion with a dragon on top. Like, what the hell? Camara, thank you. Yeah, why would I get rid of the flaming sword? Just screw your axes. How do I use these items? I'm gonna assume this bridge is about to break. Probably just bonus items. These are long levels for an arcade game. start does it make me start all the way at the beginning okay so that's good got flying gargoyles and shit what are all these enemies oh mason ball this is still the first freaking level Japan does not want you to win Oh, thank God. Oh my God, this one ducks? This one actually ducks? Where are you going? This game isn't bad at all. It's 
Stop ducking. Oh my god, what the f That's a lot of bats. Alright. Go! I don't need you. Oh Jesus, I'm like, okay, where, how am I getting over this part? And the wall closes up! And that's Rastin! Alright, not a bad game, I would definitely want to beat this. Kyoko Kyoko Tiger, we'll run through this real quick. Just another shooter. These are some awesome gra awesome graphics that they had uh, the artist remake for these games. Kind of run through these. So far, as you can tell, as we get like later 80s, the games are starting to get a lot more interesting and fun. That's me making the helicopter go faster. Wasn't paying attention. Wasn't ready. This reminds me already of Desert Strike. That was a classic on Super Nintendo. So you can't shoot behind you, typical. So far, if you're wondering, playing through all these games, would you, should you buy this arcade cabinet specifically for the games? In my opinion, not so much. I think it's a great device for uh, design-wise. It's almost twice the size of the Sega Astro City. Uh, be, the fact that you can have a rotating screen is a really cool way to bring back history. Yeah. All right, so that's that game. What else do we got? Ray Maze? Alright. Let's see. This looks like Sprint. It's like a mix of Tron and Sprint, if you guys remember the Sprint uh, racing game. Which I always thought was really cool. And you could spend money to, like, upgrade your car and everything. Dude, these screens are starting to get really wide now. That's awesome. Nice animation. Yep, definitely a Tron Akira vibe. Alright, so we've got Pac-Man with tricycles. Oh, and you have a bond that actually makes you go faster. That's cool. Super speed, go! Oh, shit. This is actually more fun than Pac-Man already. Oh, what the hell? It doesn't even go to the next level. It just makes... Okay, I was going to say, if that shocks you... I remember reading a, a viral tweet recently. It said, like, Tron was the biggest thing that Disney never made, took care of. Did you know the very first CEO event trailer, we used the Derez song from Tron Legacy. Oh, nice. If you get the C, it automatically just clears the level. That's cool. This game actually ain't bad. I've never heard of it. The music's great. It's, it's easy to understand. There's all these guys waiting in that little hut, and I don't feel safe.
Did I die or I went somewhere else? Wow, this is a very weird game. Pac-Man didn't have mega bosses like this. Because you can't, like, run away diagonally. You gotta stay straight on. Oh, I think I found the trick already. Just left, right, left, right. Hey, senpai. I think it's the best designed mini cab yet, especially with the rotating screen and everything. My fit, my hardware review should go up tomorrow, but uh, just get the cab. You don't really need all the extra controllers and stuff. I think the cab alone's worth it. What Adam Cole say? I don't remember. Is that a troll? Anybody read Japanese? Oh, left, right, left, right. Oh, right. Cool game, though. I kind of want to see the other boss battles. Let's see if we get to one more boss battle. Uh, right now, I, if, so if you're in America, Senpai Freezy, I ordered it from Amazon.co.jp. Need a translation, please. Um, let me link you to it. I don't think it'll send a referral link through me. I don't really care about that, but let me see. I ordered through Japan, however, shipping, because I got the full collection with all the additional controllers, was expensive as shit. It was like 160 bucks to ship it to me. But here's the link that I bought it from. But you can actually create an American English account on Amazon.co.jp, and it'll show you a list of things that'll ship to America. And generally, a lot of cool stuff will ship for like only 20 bucks, but this, because it was a bigger box, was like 160 So, but that's right. I pre-ordered it when it went live, because I'm... Already stuck ordering all these little mini cabs. But uh, in Play Asia, I saw I had it for $174.99. I'm not sure what their shipping costs are, but check Play Asia. Okay, I was gonna say, could I only get the grays after I get the other? Did my laser just freeze there and kill me? See, now I was able to pick up the gray ones, and I wonder if these areas are like different. So far, this might be my favorite game on the collection. Oh, that's cool. That'll make you slip and slide. Ah! Oh, he's stuck there. All right. Get out of there, Swanee. Shit. Shit. That's a toughie. Well, at least you can continue. Galaga and all those other games, Pac-Man would fucking just kill you. Make you start all the way over. I saw it on Play Asia. I might have sold out then. I'm positive it's on Play Asia. Me, personally, if I had a choice based on the games alone, if you want to actually go through all the games, I would definitely go with uh, the Sega Astro City Mini. 
pre-order, pre-order, for... Oh, wow, even Forbes reviewed it. Here's the official site that'll link you all different places. I'm telling you, pre-order now. I saw PlayAsia order it, or offering it, so look it up. Anyways, Amazon.co is where I got it from. They've always been reliable, and when they ship that shit from Amazon Japan, I still get it in like two, three days. I just want to see one more boss battle. We're going to switch over. I think it's where they have those little things in the ground. Oh, that thing just slows you down. Okay. Get out of there, Swanee. There you go. So, oh my god. Yeah, this game's intense. All right, well, that's that game. We're going to save that. Next game. Spent a good amount of time on that, but that game was actually fun. Rainbow, I oh my god, that's where this guy came from? Let's see how this runs. So yeah, if you buy that trackball controller, it comes with these 10 additional games on a little SD card. You have to turn off the system, plug in the SD card, and it automatically boots these 10 games up. But you specifically have to use that trackball uh, controller with it. Oh my god, it looks like the Super Mario World map. What am I looking at right now? Oh, so use the rainbows to- Oh, Jesus! Yay! Food! Okay, alright, that's pretty it. Uh, I did not see Taito Golf. Only sports games I've seen are a soccer game. Or better known as football. Alright, so rainbows jumping around. so amazing to just look back, see where all the games that we actually know and play here. Oh, Taito Golf? It might be. Actually, I didn't see it when I did it. Alright. That's next. That's part three of the review. No. <laughs> New Zealand Star. We still got a lot of games to go through. Shit. So, Tatsujin, another shoot 'em up Let's just check this one out real quick. And tomorrow night, I'm going to definitely uh, stream that Origins game early. I'm getting hit up left and right, guys, for CEO stuff. Jesus. Nice animations. Oh, I didn't see the bowling part. Okay, I was going to say, where's the sound effects of shooting? That's weird. Another standard shoot him up. Oh my god, these guys take a while. Like these are mini bosses? You get shot once? This is like the earliest cave game ever. Uh, that's a challenge, alright. Next up. Don Doku Don, another little hello, Carmen, and then boom, switch back to four-way. JT, weren't in here earlier. 
but it'll actually switch from eight-way to four-way with a little knob on underneath the bottom of the stick. So, and the games tell you what to do. Whoa, that was a little trippy, the 3D. I don't know anybody who's ever made that sound effect jumping. That's level one. The guy teleports. See ya. Remix. Oh shit, it's the Lord of the Rings trees. Oh, I want to see what the power does. Super easy game, probably the easiest one yet. Alright. That's good enough for me, we'll save that, come back to it later. The games aren't as impossible as the earlier ones. Volfide, another little, uh, 1989. Slicks older than that. Use your laser ship to carve up 80% or more of the stage. Your vulnerable cutting and collision cost of life. All right, let's see. This is a one-button game. Take that dive kick. Where am I? Oh, okay. Huh. So it's like Snake. I'm trying not to collide with something. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. Almost like a dig dug. That's actually kind of cool. Hi, and that's how you cheat right there. I feel like I've seen this somewhere before. That's actually, guys, this ain't bad. You're basically trying to carve as much as possible without crashing into the other guys. God, there's gotta be some speed run to just like cut up the entire thing. And then they can't kill you, and then I actually just noticed the percentage at the bottom. Six percent. Oh, my God. Can't imagine how much harder the other levels get. All right, seventy five percent. That was good. Did not expect that guy to go up. All right, all right. I kind of like this game. See how this goes. Volfied. This is also a pretty cool game. Oh. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. As long as they don't catch up to you. Oh, that's easier. Never mind. And there's some things that are like speeding me up. I wonder if you cut them off, if it'll kill their guys. Yeah, probably. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, Jesus, right there. <whistles> We're gonna get through the first level, my god. You can only imagine how many levels these damn games have, too. Tiva, no, he's at the door. Stop it. Definitely feel like I gotta use See how much easier it is once you actually know what you're doing. Super speed now. I gotta see a speed run of this game. I guarantee there's people that just like slide through the whole middle and cut the whole thing in half. All right, getting there. I think this is the run. This is the run, guys. This is the run. Oh, G80 on the dot. Nice. Not a bad game, actually. Ha! <laughs> the bottom bonus. Thank God they don't have medals like, uh, freaking Gran Turismo does. Oh! Uh -huh. Hey, Quexies. Nice, yeah, I would have put the game title on this uh, stream, but I don't want to, have to keep switching it over and over again. I'm running through basically everything on the Egret Mini, too. Yeah, this game's tough. How do I get the P?
Oh, I, yeah, I figured that. Just uh, the last game, they actually stay in the same place, but jeez. This game is uh, amazingly challenging. Oh, nice. Ran right into that one. Oh, this is a toughie. I want to see some speed runs on this game. Oh, it's come on, 69%. Darn it. It's trying to get exact. Would be nice to have a power up right about now. Running out of time, too. Shit. Ah, oh, game over? Oh, no. Still got a life. <sighs> good game. Good game. Good game. Alright, next. Violence fight. This looks like a uh, fighting game. Oh, shit. Punch, jump, kick. Got it. Three button game. We'll go through like a couple characters, see how these feel. Violence fight, original. It's already got that uh, like uh, pit fighter type vibe. Lee Chen versus Bad Blue, round one. It's literally pit fighter, which was a classic in my opinion. Nice. Oh, shit. Yes. Going for the little guy. I'm like pressing two bonds, he's like picking up shit. <laughs> Look how heavy the thing looks. He can catch the barrel and throw it back, that's not bad. Oh shit, he's got a flip kick? All right, I didn't know that. I wanna know how to do, how I did that flip kick. Oh wow, that was actually two out of three rounds. I thought that was two different characters. I never plus press player two to join in. All right, well, we've seen enough of that game. Kadash, this is a classic. This kind of reminds me of Magician Lord. Actually, I heard good things about this game. It's just it's not in English, so you can't understand the game. That's Simon. This is Richter right here. This is the queen, the Mary chick, and a wizard. Oh, I want to read the story. This is one of, the only, one of the only games that never left Japan, so they never translated it. Kill the king!
This is like a Castlevania magician lord mixed in together. Can you hit the women? Oh. This guy just looks like a tourist walking around. Oh, he's even got a downward. Oh, shit. He's got fireballs. Uh, yeah, I'm playing off the Egret Mini, but it's hooked up through HDMI, so I'm using a separate controller that it came with. Aw, oh, little piggy, go bye bye. I wish I had a picture of I can't move the cat without unplaying, because my HDMI cord to the stream card is very short. By design. You know what? This is what I should be doing. I got an idea. This is my review that's being edited as we speak, so I ho hopefully I have it out by tomorrow, but I am going to do this. This is exactly what I'm playing. It's the Taito Egret Mini Cab. This is my thumbnail that I took after I did my review. So these are all the pieces, the cabs in the middle, basically. So I will put this here just so people understand what the hell it is. But yeah, I got like the complete package that comes with all this stuff, so. But yeah, that's this game. I'm just running through them for a software review. Rather do a live stream with you guys and hang out than just record by myself for an hour on YouTube. Mizubaku Adventure, so. So yeah, you can get the base unit and play pretty much everything. Or you can buy the controller separately, but I got the package that came with everything. And this controller, if you buy this controller, it comes with an SD card with 10 specific games that only work with a trackpad like Arkanoid or a Marble Madness ripoff game. So, and what's cool is the base unit has the rotating screen. So if you're playing a shoot 'em up, it puts them in the vertical angle. And it's literally a quick just pop in, the screen pops out, twist it, and then put pop it back in. Really cool stuff. All right, so now we know the inspiration for Kirby's for Kirby. He can't float, okay. They're just like, all right, let's make something like this game, but what can Kirby do that's different? He can float, oh, that's good, ship it. And these are all Japan only arcade games that had come out and were never released. That's why a lot of us, including myself, never heard of any of these games. Oh shit, just noticed that too. Yeah, I was wondering where the water's coming from. So SS just killed everything. Yay! Yeah, this comes with 40 base games, and then, you know, every time they say they're, like, this has a beautiful SD card slot where the SD completely slides in, it doesn't, like, stick out, like, laptops and stuff. They always say they'll add expansion packs, and then nothing comes of it. And I bought the Capcom Retro Station that only came with 10 games, 5 Mega Man, 5 uh, Street Fighter games, uh, and I think Puzzle Fighter and Darkstalkers. Dude, I bought two of them. I bought a second one by mistake. They were, like, 250 through Japan, had it shipped. They're going for 800 on eBay now because they barely made any because they didn't sell very well. So I'm definitely holding on to that one. The Capcom Retro Station, which is the best one because it's like a nine inch screen on that thing. I did a review on that one as well. Uh, I just like collecting these mini cabs. Like what could they do next, a CPS machine? If they did a CPS minicab, that would be amazing. All right, let's save a bomb action and use it properly. So another two buttons, shmup. So, all right, so let me, I gotta get through the rest of these games. But yeah, so another shmup, all the shmups from Taito have been awesome so far. This game looks interesting. It looks like an Indiana Jones slash Streets of Rage slash Early on final fight. 
Yeah, and most of these just run like an Android chip, like a S905 something, I believe. <sighs> it even has Indiana Jones on the left. Dude, these games could have come out before. You won't get away with this. <laughs> I like his jump. His one who jumps like that with one knee in the air, like it's the early V trigger. Ha! Ah! Did you guys see the knee in the face? Characters on screen, holy shit. <laughs> can I use the whip? Oh, I can use the whip. Oh. versions of poison from Final Fight. Like, as I play these, I'm like, I know what inspired all the games that we know and love from Capcom and stuff. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I hit the guy behind me on accident. All right, so that's that hat trick hero. Cool little sports game. I still think Super Sidekicks is one of the best arcade uh, soccer football games of all time. I was actually good at these, and we all know from the 90s, 80s, pick Brazil if you want to win. Hmm. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying this kind of change of pace. Ah, foul! Start crying! Did he, he just had a punch? Look, he can actually just punch you! Ha! Punch, shoot, sliding, kick, punch. That's too funny. Oh, the goalie just punched me! There are no rules. It's an arcade soccer game. Do you think they had fouls and stuff? Man, do you guys remember... Oh, thank God. Do you remember Capcom Soccer? I actually remember that game because every time there was penalty kicks, I could actually react to the character and the direction they were gonna kick. Oh, what the fudge! I was able to always block every penalty kick because I was able to see which direction it was going and block. So I remember that as a kid. I felt really talented at the time. You can even kick the referee. Okay, this game's not bad. No! No! Base Wars, are you thinking about the, the, the baseball game that had the robots in it? I thought uh, Baseball Superstars was always good. The Neo Geo versions. Was it called Base Wars? That was a pretty damn good one. Base is loaded. I'd always play as a kid. Oh, now there's a foul. Into out of bounds. Ah! <laughs> Get 
All right, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead on that. So that was pretty fun. Ninja Kids. I actually played this with my buddy Kenny earlier. We actually beat the whole game. It was four levels, but I'll show you guys. Um, this is pretty good. This is like Simpsons and Turtles had a baby. But what's cool is each character is a completely different moveset. And I like the Shuriken guy because I can kind of just go through everything. But it's like it gives you that Simpsons vibe, but with turtles. So one guy has nunchucks, this guy has shurikens, one guy has a sword. Another guy, I forgot what he had. I think it was a bow staff. <laughs> Look at that, the level just started and I'm already inside. Like, it already animated into a different hand. And then watch my special. And look at big guy. <laughs> like, doesn't it give you a full-on Simpson vibe? We know where Konami got inspired from. Because Simpsons is like 1991, 1992, I believe. That guy looks like Grimace from uh, Sesame Street. You got to plank jump into shurikens. Oh, what's cool is this. Watch this shit. You can actually take all these down. Uh, I don't want to be in it. So, even a car running by. But not a bad game, honestly, as a beat-em-up. It actually took about the levels were long. It was only like four levels. And then you actually fight Satan as the bad guy. And then we got another side shoot him up. Plays for a second. Lots of games, lots of games. Very Simpson-y. This kind of reminds you of a Darius. Oh, these graphics are kind of throwing my eyes for a loop. Oh my god. And then I think you can charge stuff. It has beam level. Oh. That's cool. You see your stuff leveling up, so that's kind of a different pace. Collecting these is just adding to my beam level. Oh, night, nice. Jesus. Proton cannon right there. Now, for some reason, there's a guy doing a karate kick on the back screen. Oh, that ship actually it kills you? Who would assume that the background looking thing would kill you? All this was the Egret Mini. I think they were like pre-JAMA boards. You'd have to do the research. I'm not a very good arcade historian. This game's not bad for a side-scrolling shoot-em-up. The design kind of reminds me of uh, one of my favorite games ever, uh, Contra 3 Alien Wars. That's cool. So at any time you can unlock that beam and then it just shoots less. Kind of like as you get older and your P streams are wet weaker. Very cool, nice soundtrack. It's amazing too, one of my favorite kid memories is when uh, I won that Blockbuster video game challenge, not Dr. Disrespect, and we got to go to Capcom. And back in the day, everything was just arcades, but when I was at Capcom, they showed me the, the actual, it wasn't a cartridge, it was a, a Super Nintendo dev kit, but it looked like a Super Nintendo. But the cartridge was just an entire like motherboard that was plugged in as the cartridge. But it wasn't just the cartridge you see. It was literally like a full motherboard. And that was how they showed me like the demo of uh, before it released the new challengers. Not Super Turbo, but new challengers on uh, Super Nintendo. So I got to play it before it was publicly released. 
which is pretty cool. That was the first time I had seen how they were kind of creating uh, games themselves. Raid Force looks like uh, another shoot 'em up. This actually looks clean. Boat Crab, yeah. Thanks, guys, for tuning in, by the way. I, I thought nobody would care to watch this kind of stuff. But these are our roots. I was an arcade baby, just never played Taito games. This is kind of cool. I guess I'm trying to reflect that second beam and have it go through. Oh, I get it. So this thing, I have it lock on and then these lasers will go at it. I got it, very cool. Oh, hey Orlando, what's up, buddy? Yeah, we should've been playing these together. Yeah, my buddy or super wins here. He's actually, he knows way more about arcade history than me. But, uh, okay, lock on laser. So there's that game, another cool one. Kaiser Knuckle is a fighting game. All right, we're getting to the final list. I mean, best, bank for your buck, dude. This is pretty amazing. Uh, how many games you have in the variety. Fighting games, Taito is never really known for fighting games. Wait a moment. So I'll play a game through this, but yeah. Bear is Gecko Wulong, Li Hua, Lisa, Jim McCoy. There's my Balrog. Marco. Oh, shit. Marco looks like a badass. Well, I didn't even pick him, but I'll just take that. Oh, and then I'm collecting. I'm selecting my opponent. Okay, cool. And then this is a six button game. All right. Shrumps are the heart. Is it because your eyes, Vfro? Because I'm kind of like that too, especially with cave games. Oh, this guy sucks. It's Rufus. Uh, what? That was not a button check. Holy shit, I died quick. Oh my god, this guy's destroying me! Take that, asshole. Ha! That's a pretty good throw. <laughs> Jeremy? Ah! He's throwing his head. It'd be nice if games like these actually had a uh, player list somewhere. Or a move list. All things considered, this is pretty cool stage design. Alright, let's pick a different character. Please let me pick a different character. Oh, I don't want this guy. Let's go with the chick with a sword. This might be the early Hibiki. Round one. Well, she sucks. Get out of here, kid. Oh, then, you know what I noticed? Look, you don't see it. Let me move this over. There's like two bonus characters on the bottom right that it's like kind of teasing. Dude, this uh, computer's pretty hard. Let's pick another character, see what I can do. And then I got to pick my opponent. That's very weird.
Let's go with who's probably the main character of the game. Kazuya. Okay, I, I've seen that name before. Round one. Fight. Found my Ryu. Yeah, this game sucks. All right, there's no running or dashes. Dude, this guy won't stay still. Oh, okay, that's a badass move. You see that? He said something. This move is pretty badass. It seems like a half circle back, a punch in the ground. This guy is running away way too much. He had an air grab. Oh. And then, dude, the night, the level turned into night. This game's got pretty good stage design. Nothing else is good. I'm guessing these characters only have two moves. Oh, there we go. He's got a little flash kick. All right, next game. I've seen enough. That's Kaiser Knuckle. That probably be, might be their only Street Fighter 2 ripoff. Yeah, 1994. So. Then we got Darius Garden. Looks like uh, Gaiden. Sorry. Looks like another shmup. We can kind of skip the shmups. Bubble Symphony. This is basically the original. Or this looks like the sequel to Bubble Bobble. So we've got that one. Elevator Action Returns. So this is a sequel to the other elevator game. Looks like they just improved on the graphics. Puzzle Bobble 2X. This is the one we all know and love. Let's kind of run through that. These loading times are kind of weird. Oh God, what does this mean? One player, one player versus computer, and then two player. Okay, that's, that's pretty easy. Yeah, I know this mode. Oh, I need to get that yellow. Oh, I messed that one up. Messed that one up. Darn, I was hoping that would reflect. Also a screw up right there, another screw up. This game is hard. Not really. Yay, all right, we got that one. All right, next game. Bubble Memories, another Bubble Bobble? Oh wow, this looks cleaner. Let's kind of turn this one on. So yeah, I mean, uh, for something like this, you want it as a collector's piece, but it's uh, it's got a long selection of games. You can definitely spend some time with this. Go over the old school arcade games. I just want, so there's been the Sega Mini Astro, the Capcom Retro Station with some stuff, all the arcade one-ups. If they made another mini cab, I really think a CPS-1 machine would be badass. 
like CPS2 with like Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, Final Fight, all those games. But so many collections have them, so it's like, why? And Replicade makes the single games like a Dragon's Lair, stuff like that. What they need to make is like a mini gun game cab or something. So there's that game. And we're down to the last game, Don Kuka, which looks like another fighting game. Yep, fighting two players, F3 system. Okay, that so you were somebody was asking earlier what get what what were these running? So F3 system, F2, so that basically runs it through. EJ system, B system, so that's pretty cool. So let me run through these. Another six button fighting game. Let's see how this sees. Oh, Data East Arcade. Thank you. That's a good one. Ro who made NARC? Or yeah, it was NARC. A Smash uh, Smash TV be great, but you need the two analog sticks. I don't know what any of this means. They say they're actually going to release this in the West, and they did that with the, uh, the Sega Astro as Is this a sequel to the other game we just played? It's the same exact characters. Except now it's picking the computer. Round one. Fight. And it looks like basically a sequel. I gotta go back and see what years the This might be my new fair fight. Oh my god, this guy's good! Ha! Is he saying bay? Is this the first time we've ever heard the word bay? <laughs> I love this character! <laughs> Boggy. Oh shit, he's pissed. Is he saying bay? I think he's saying bay. Nice star sickle, yeah. It's Amigo the soundtrack, Amigo 1000 CPU. It's so cool now because now everything's, all these games are like played on simple chips like the A1, A15 Bionic or the A905, a lot of emulators, Android chips and stuff. This might be my new favorite character of all time. Twitch clip. Let's see. So that is the last game, Don Kuga. So this was 1994, and then Kaiser Knuckle was 19, also 1994. So what's the difference? Is that just the Japanese? Oh, the game that were never released. Huh. Dude, why are all these people asking for refunds for CEO, but more signups than ever? I don't get it. Why are these people signing up and backing out? Darius Garden beat it. I'll play a, a level up, but I don't want to beat it. I actually want to go through the other 10 games that require you to use the uh, the trackpad.
Oh, what was the name of that game? This is your favorite game? I definitely have to play it then. Nice star sickle. I love the 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 uh, information you're giving. By the way, thank you. Oh, nice. Uh, I got a code for that Mad Streets game. We'll we'll t play it next time you're over. Oh wow, shit! This game looks hard already. It is cool to learn, man, about uh, just how arcade games were freaking. There were entire com there were entire boards, and now you can play thousands of them on a freaking emulator. And you're like, how did I spend so much money on these? I think growing up in the arcade era is one of the best eras ever as a kid. As a gamer, now everything's just at home and too many options, and you know you don't you never know what you really want to play. But back in the day, like if an arcade game, like a new Street Fighter came out, that was the only game you were playing for like three months straight. And that's all you could think about, that's all you could talk about. Now it's like every day a new game's coming out. Not a bad problem to have. But I'm getting old, I can't keep keeping up with all these games. The fact that this is running an entire soundtrack with, uh, with uh, lyrics is pretty funny. Nice. Actually, this game does look fun. We'll have to do two players on it. So, oh, hey, Tampa never sleeps. Jesus. All right, more games. Welcome, guys. Who won uh, Guilty Gear tonight? Hey, Juicy. I need to, so what I'm about to do is... Uh, so if you buy the full package and you get this controller as well, which is a trackball and a trackpad that is actually has a little bit of resistance. So like when you click, you feel it respond, you know, clicking it, it comes with 10 additional games that you have to use this controller. You cannot use any other controller to play them. So nice. Thank you for the raid, Tong. This is the real reason I stream in the evenings now and lose sleep so Tong can raid me. So I have to turn off this system. Since I'm turning it off, which is cool, it has its own turn off animation. Just to show you guys the size of this cab, it's actually pretty ginormous, but here's my favorite part. Watch this, watch this. And then you turn it for all the shmups and then put it back in. So pretty cool, right? And then switch it back. Doesn't matter when it's plugged into HDMI, but isn't that cool, dude? Just the sheer technology of it, just. So there's that, back to the games. Disqualified. Thank you, BRCS. Thank you everyone for the follow if I can't call out all your names. So now I have to. And they say other expansions that could come out, but I wonder how far in advance they'll actually bring it, or how far into the future they'll bring out title games. Because the last game uh, is like 1994 that this comes with. So, but putting in the SD card. And it's cool. B 
because it comes with a, a little marquee on the top and it comes all just these paper cards. It doesn't light up or anything, but. So this is about to come back in and then I gotta deactivate. Man, I wish I could stream Persona. I actually have Persona. <laughs> Somebody responded about if I need anything on Don Kuka. He used to stream it all the time. So that's pretty funny. Okay, so again, you have to use this trackpad to play these games, which is cool, but... Oh, wow, old school strike building. So yeah, this is all the old game. Marine Date, 1981. Strike Bowling. Birdie King. Arkanoid. Arkanoid's actually one of my favorite game series. I used to play the hell out of these games. So, Plump Pop. These are all trackball games. I've actually heard of Savalian before. I remember this game. Camel try, okay. Oh, it looks like a Marvel Madness. Arkanoid Returns. So three Arkanoid games. Poochie Carrot. Uh, we'll go with that. So yeah, so not a lot of games just for this little thing, but uh, Arkanoid was definitely my favorite. But I'm going to run through all these games. So you have to use the trackball to play this. That's cool. Welcome, guys. If you, if you, you know who I am, I pay uh, Tong to do shit, but I also, uh, besides fighting games, I'm actually a huge all-around gamer, so I do mostly variety stuff. I let Tong host all the online tournaments. We're actually, no if anybody's a KOF player, we're announcing a big one next Saturday. What's up, Luke? So would I buy this trackpad for these 10 additional games? Probably not. I mean, Arkanoid's pretty cool, but... So am I just, oh, just goal, okay. Oh, that's it. And I'm using a little trackball for this. All right. So there's that game. I can't back out. What the hell? There it is. Oh, I'm wondering what was going on, guys. The game's delayed because I have to redo it. There we go, sorry. All right, better. Check out Strike Bowling. Uh, I'm gonna, it's on my uh, to-do list for cabinet tours. They could have put Simpsons Bowling on this. Yes, spare! This is cool, though, to use the, the trackball. Oh, definitely not getting this spare. Hold on. Can you curve it? I wonder if you can curve it. Luke, I better see you when we're in Dallas. Yeah, I, I curved it all right. All right, well, there's bowling. Oh, it's making you hold the uh, button now. So console settings, I don't even have an E button. Birdie King, oh, a nice little golf game, also with a trackball. Uh, June 3rd to 5th.
You gotta boot it up. Patience, Tong. Oh, that is the game. Ha! <laughs> If you, I, you would think you have to wind up the ball. Yeah, Golden Tea still makes arcade cabs. It's amazing. I think they just auto-update now. It's like a standard one, and then they just update it every year. So this game, I, you would expect it to be a wind-up, but the moment you go in any direction, it's going to hit there. Ah, uh, stop. Oh, come on. It made me give up. Who the hell would pay money for this game? Oh, wait, wait, I'm on the green. This might be the worst golf game I've ever played in history. Hey, it's Duck Hunt. <laughs> this game is so unintuitive, it is bad. How hard am I supposed to hit this thing? I would love to see anybody get a birdie in this shit. No, uh, we're getting it in the hole. Pause. Dude, this is pretty bad. Like, I just gave it all my force and that's as far as it goes? Alright, this is the one. This is the one. Wow, I'm telling you, it's just badly designed. This might be the worst game ever. Thank you, Jesus. Quadruple bogey. Dude, could you? <laughs> yeah, this game is pretty bad. Arkanoid, we know how those games roll. Plump pop? Nice, so this looks like an Arkanoid. So you know what, if I could go back, I definitely would not have uh, purchased this additional add-on for these 10 games, because they're pretty bad. It's unbelievable that they gotta initialize your, like, set up the games. I don't know what any of that means. I've seen this game before, but with a different title. You gotta keep rolling the trackball, by the way. It's not easy. It's not like a smooth throw, like roll and you're done. It wasn't Salamander, but I've seen a similar game before. Oh, uh, looks like a boss battle. Oh, I can just hold the fire. Duh, I've been mashing fire this whole time. Well, that was easy. There's gotta be setting on this trackball. It's like rough.
Yeah, the firepower uh, drains as you play it more. I've seen enough. Oh, that's about it for my title review. Uh, overall, some of these games are pretty bad. Uh, but uh, nice lore to see the inspiration that it comes from from all these different games and such. But I enjoyed part two of the software review. I'll be editing this all out, guys, by the way, on the live stream. So, But uh, check out my hardware review uh, before this video. And then this just running through all the different games. If you're kind of interested to just see everything that came a part of the title history. So, But uh, the cab itself, worth every penny. The additional games and all the add-ons, probably not so much. But definitely can suggest the Egret Mini 2 uh, just as a standalone cab. So I'd probably save your money on all the additional controllers and, you know, fight stick, you know, fight stick here. This thing here, the trackpad with the extra 10 games. So hopefully they come out with more games. And then it also came with <laughs> a gamepad as well with a very hard to do fireball motion D-pad. So, um, but that's it for this. Since you guys are here, if you want, I might play some Fightcade CVS2 if anybody's interested for a few minutes. Let me unplug this. I kind of want to install the Origins game. I got it already. Curves up and out. Yeah, pretty much. Cool. Well, let me, I'm going to turn the stream off, guys, and then turn it right back on just so I know what I'm editing later. So please don't go anywhere. Actually, if fight, I might want to play that uh, Donkuga game if that's on Fightcade. Just crop it out. Don't turn off the stream. Fine. Give me a second. Not, man, uh, freaking Castlevania Judgment. Yeah, that game is wild. I don't even want to get into that. Let's see. Where's my fight kit? I haven't loaded fight kit up in a while. Let me do that then. Be right back. <laughs> 